Why did you let the BBC invite in your house, though? Yeah, so they they do were. You, do you regret that? I don't regret it because I destroyed them so badly. But I I wasn't. I was certainly suspicious of them, and mm. I knew they were going to try something. But they lied to me. But I didn't never. I would never say I trusted them. But they lied to me. They told me they were going to come and ask me questions about my mental health, and they sat me down and attacked me in an attempt to slander my name with a big setup. And they wanted to talk to me for two hours and find three minutes of me making a mistake or stuttering or not being able to answer a question and use it against me to slander my name like they've always been doing. But I made a complete fool of them. And that scares me also because that's their primary weapon is the media. And if you continue to destroy the media, they're going to find other weapons, which is scary to me. Now they've moved on to the judicial system. We'll see what happens after that. But I let them in, not because I trusted them, but I thought, you know what, after all these months in jail and the fact they're asking me questions about my mental health, and this is my first time them talking to the Matrix in a very long time, this might be an interesting conversation. And I was wrong. So instead, I had to teach them all a lesson. I made fools of them. I made fools of them. Like, I made absolute clowns of them. They should have just asked me interesting questions. 